Hey everybody, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my backyard for a Easter Monday kettlebell workout. It's 20 minutes and I've included a five minute stretch at the end. So go ahead, grab your kettlebell and let's get started. The first exercise is a halo. So grab onto the handles of your kettlebell, bring your elbows close to your side, we're gonna be taking it around one direction, our right, and then bring it back to center, and then go to our left. Make sure you're holding your core in nice and strong, slight bend in through the knees. Next exercise is around the world and we'll be starting with our right hand. So holding the kettlebell in your right hand, pull your core in nice and tight. We're going to be passing the kettlebell in front of the body to the left hand, swing it behind the body, grabbing on with the right. We're just going to go the other direction, so grab onto that kettlebell with your left hand and we're going to pass it to our right in front. Let's place that kettlebell down in between our legs. We're gonna go into a deadlift. So make sure when you go into your deadlift, you're hinging at the hips, driving your hips back, bending through the knees, and you're gonna pop up through the glutes and push through your hips and your hamstrings. Let's place that kettlebell in front of us, then come to the very edge of your mat. We're gonna walk out in an inchworm, point tap the kettlebell, and then walk down onto our elbows back up.
good. Come back up to a stand. We're gonna get that kettlebell in front of us to prepare for our, hand, our double-handed swing. So with your swing, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips, bend into the knees, grab onto that kettlebell, roll it towards you, and swing. go into a clean to rack the kettlebell in our right arm and then we'll be squatting. So take that kettlebell in between the legs, you're going to hinge and swing and get it into a clean position, rack it and squat. the other side so left hand's going to grab onto that kettlebell making sure it's going around the wrists Take our feet out nice and wide, pointing our toes out to the corner. We're going to place a kettlebell between the thighs and we're going to go into a sumo deadlift. So you want to have a slight bend in through the knees, you hinge at the hips, grab onto that kettlebell and then squeeze through the glutes and the hamstrings as you come to a stand, then repeat. Keep that back nice and straight. Up, guys. All right, we're going to flip that kettlebell over, holding on to the handles, and we're going to do a standing pullover. So start with those elbows tucked in beside you. We're going to be lifting the elbows and taking that kettlebell behind our head.
job. All right, place that kettlebell on the ground. We're gonna go into some alternating swings. So similar to the double-handed swing, we're gonna start with the right hand and then you're gonna grab on with the left when it comes up to shoulder height. Goblet squats coming up next. So take that kettlebell, place it between your feet. Your feet are a little wider than hip width apart, toes pointing forward. We're gonna hinge at the hips, coming down into a low squat, grab that kettlebell and come up to a stand. Let's place that kettlebell between our legs. Standing up, we're gonna go into a clean and press. So the handle is pointing inwards. You're gonna take your right hand, rotate it so your thumb is pointing in towards you. Grab onto that kettlebell, nice straight back, give it a swing, clean it, and then press up towards the sky. Release it down to the ground, getting ready to do the opposite side. So handle pointing in, your left hand is gonna rotate, thumb pointing in towards you. Slight bend in through the knees, hinging forward, grab onto that kettlebell, give it a slight swing, bring it across the body, come into your clean, and press. Great job. Let's come on down to the ground. We're gonna go into a Russian twist. So you're gonna take that kettlebell between your legs, then you're going to lean back about 45 degrees so you're in a V position, feet flat on the ground. Let's bring that kettlebell to one side, holding onto the handles, and we're just going to twist, rotate through our waist, and bring the kettlebell side to side. Don't let that belly release. You wanna have a nice strong core as you're twisting and working those obliques.
set kettlebell down, come up to a stand. We're gonna do a right hand single arm swing. So get that kettlebell in front of you. You're gonna hinge forward, knee slightly bent, knee straight back, grab on with the right hand and swing it towards the body and up. that kettlebell down on the ground. Let's get ready to do that on the left hand side. So kettlebell in front of you, hinging forward, tummy strong. Keep those knees slightly bent, grab onto that kettlebell, getting ready to pull in two, one, bring it towards the body and swing it up. Pop through those hips. Great job, place it down on the ground. We're gonna do some rows now. So bent over rows, starting with our right. We're placing the kettlebell beside our right foot. We've got our left leg behind. We're gonna hinge forward, nice straight back, belly in, grab onto that kettlebell with the left, and then pull that elbow right in beside the body and release. Keep that back straight. Job. Come up to a stand. We're going to do it on the other side. So place the kettlebell beside your left foot. Step your right leg back, up on the toe, hinge forward at your hips. Keep your core nice and strong. Grab onto that kettlebell and squeeze. Keep that arm close to the body, squeezing at the top and then slowly release. Squeeze at the top and release. Four, three, two, and one. Release it down. Good, we're gonna come down for the last exercise. So sitting down, grab that kettlebell in between your thighs. Turn the kettlebell so the bell is heading away from you. Come down to a lie down, elbows beside you. We're going to come into a pull over and then sit up and press. Keep that back pressing down into the ground as you pull over. Really protect your spine here. Keep the rib cage down. Pelvic floor is pressing against the floor. And then pressing up into a sit up. Last three, two, 
and one. Nice work, guys. You did it. That's 20 minutes. I have a five minute cool down stretch if you'd like to follow along. Otherwise, stay safe, have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Yeah.